commitment, we must unite in working now for the kingship of God. God is near to all who call upon God in truth. There can be disagreement without disrespect. Let us help one another overcome hardness of heart, opening minds to the challenges of both. Should we hope for each other's failure, or should we pray for each other's welfare? Let mutual concern replace remnants of mutual contempt as we share the precarious position of being human beings. Have we not all one father? Are we not all God's children? Let's not be guided by ignorance or disdain. Let lives of holiness illumine our paths. The hand of God is extended to all who seek it. Let those who revere the Lord speak to one another, including everyone in the knowledge and splendor of God. But I, you grant us knowledge and teach us understanding. Help us to recognize the gift of our vibrant and open democracy and the responsibility to nurture it. Strengthen us to take our duties as citizens seriously to fulfill our obligations with integrity. May we discern your divine presence and amplify your teaching through our actions and commitments. Remind us of the goodness and diversity of the United States of America. May we strive to care about those with whom we disagree as dearly as we care for our own ideals. Guide our hands to reach out to one another. May you grace us with knowledge, understanding, and discernment. Amen. As we go through this outline in front of you, moving right along to the national leaders, before we do, I wanted to share with you a very key passage of scripture. In fact, I just came across this morning as I was doing my reading. But the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and by the breath of his mouth all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord nullifies the counsel of the nations. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. As we move into our national leaders, we have seen a tremendous amount of division in our nation. The theme of this year's day of prayer is unity. And as the rabbi said, to look past our differences and to find common ground. As you are led to pray individually, pray for the unity of our country. 